Hey guys, also when you get the machine from Focus, we also get a UV ID water circulation cooling system from Focus. Uh, this is the package. Uh, you first uh, we get the uh, power cable. And the control box and also the user menu. Now we put the near the machine. Hey guys, we come back to Master B online show and then this this talk this video will teach you uh, how to use the and storage machine. The first uh, is the let me teach let me show you what the spare parts and the name and the function for each each spare parts. So this is the focus news the alpha UV printer. When we see at the front, we will, we can see this is the printing table. Uh, we call it the one queue table because here instead have some one queues you can print the uh, on hard rugged media and soft media. And also the print screen. This screen will show you the printing process, like uh, uh, how many how many seconds need and how many uh, uh, the current current print status like printing already. And also this is the emergency button. When you push down the button, the electricity will be off of the carriage. And when you turn on, it will be power on again. And also this is the acrylic cover totally used made, made, made by acrylic. And at the back side of the acrylic is the control button. This control button is for human, it's, it's not a physical button, but it's for, it's for touch screens, touch buttons. Okay, so when we open the cover, here we can see this is the carriage, and also the belt, and the belt was locked for safety delivery, not to, to, to protect the carriage, not moving to get damaged. And also the linear rear, the linear rear for get the carriage moving from left to right. And also the ink of film, the ink of film is, for tra is transparent. And this is very important, must be sure the ink of film will not get any scratched or get dirty, get sprayed by the ink or any liquid. Because if the transparent ink of film was get, get damaged, will be uh, get machine problems. And also the tank. The tank churn inside, uh, inside have the tuber, ink tuber, water tuber, and some uh, cables. Okay, so this is the front view of the machine. And also the table can be moved up and down. The maximum printing weight and printing thickness is for 20 centimeter for, for the lower and up, maximum 20. Okay, then we go to the Right side of the machine, you can push down the the button of the lock, and we can open the cover. Then we can see the inside. We can see the first. Uh, this is the up down up down cap station. Can be up or down. It's just the both screw and and also inside have the motor. So we use like electricity power automatic up down system. And this is this is this knob is for for repairment is for maintenance. No, actually, you don't need to use this one. So this is the cap station up down system, and also the sensor, the sensor for up down detect. This is the sensor for cap station, and also this is the waste in waste ink bottle. The waste ink bottle is used for uh, get gather the ink from cap station from wiper to the waste ink tank, and also this is the uh, tuber, and called waste, waste. So when the ink tank, ink tank is full, we will have alarm, we have uh, the sound, we will be able the sounds alarm to, to let the attention to release the waste ink. And this is the, way, the value, the, the, the way for the switch, so this is for switch on and this is for switch off. It's for switch off. When you get the machine, you get it off. And when you use the machine, when you want to release the waste ink, you just open it and open the here and put it on the garbage to release the waste ink. And also, the bus must be sure the waste ink do not 
uh, put on the river, put it on uh, any garbage must be uh, safety processing. And also we can see that's the, the pump, the cleaning pump. This is the cleaning pump for white ink. The cleaning pump for C, pump C named the, for, for color, CMYK, LCOM. And this is the pump for varnish. So totally we have three pumps to clean the ink, the ink clean the ink from print head to cap station, then to waste ink bottle, and then go back to waste, waste the beans. So this is the pump, the, the, the cleaning pump. <clears throat> and also we can see here, uh, there's some cables from main board, and also the both glue, one, two, and at the other, other side also have two. So on this machine we built with both, four both glue up and down for high precision. So this is the right side of the machine. It's almost used for ink systems. Okay, when we go to the back side of the machine, we can see the ink tank for each color. From the left to right is K, C, M, Y, and also the ink detect light for each color, K, C, M, Y, the, the LED lamps for each, each tank. So that this, this light is used for when the ink, it's lack of ink, so the, ink will be, the light will be on to to let you pay attention to feel ink again. And the volume for each tank is 500 milliliter for each tank, the volume. So this is for left. So when we go to the middle, back, middle back side, we can see this the cable. And this cable is used for the vacuum fine at back side of the, ta back side of the table. Because the table is vacuum, or, or the soft screen. It's for print on the soft materials. So this is the, the fine cables. And also inside is the, 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 the motor for flatbed moving. When we go to the right side of the back side, we can see it's also the, tank, the ink tank for each color. The first is white. Of course, it's varnish, varnish. And this is the white. When we talk about the white ink, it's very really important because the back side of the white tank, we have the magnet shaking system to protect the white ink setting. So inside the white ink tank, there's a magnet, a white magnet inside. We cannot see by cameras, but when you get the machine, you can see it will be shaking. When you pop on the machine, the software will be shaking a little bit, some, some seconds. So this uh, have shaking system, shaking system for white ink. The back side, the bottom have the the bottom of the the white ink tank. The bottom of the white ink tank inside the back side of the metal have the motor to make the magnet shaking for white ink. So must pay attention to that. And uh, the third one is lead cyan, and the last one is lead magenta. So the back side almost used for the ink tank, ink tank and some uh, lighters and cables. Okay, at the left side of the rear, we can see there's a label that sticked at the rear. And so this is the serial number of the machine. All the machine from Focus, we will have the serial number to detect and know the machine status. Then the focus created in China and FSPT, the serial number. So when, when your machine get a problem, you just need to tell the focus support team with the serial number of your machine so we uh, know what the machine exactly produced, what time produced, and also who produced it, who assembled it. So easy to find the problem for, for, for your machine to get a solution. So the serial number is for tracking. Okay, so when we go to the front of the table, we can see there's the, the front beam the sensor at the bottom of the table. So this is, is the front beam the sensor. When the table moves to front, and the, the metal at the bottom of the vacuum suction table will be detected and then stop the production, stop the movement of the table. So this is the front, leave the sensor. 
Okay, so when we go to the the table for printing, ta the table for printing, this we can see they have some uh, laser engraving rulers with some numbers. So this the position and uh, the size for the table. The maximum printing size is uh, sixty for y axis and forty two uh, forty one for carriage for 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 this. So the maximum print size is 42 times 60 centimeter. And also on the table have uh, have small holes. The small holes is for, for air, for air vacuum absorption to suck to the materials, each hose. And also when we go to the the, left, the right side of the bottom, we can see there's the, the upper limit sensor. This upper limit sensor is for detect the material, not go over the position to to scratch print head. One for send, another one for receive at the left side. So here and here is the up limit sensor to protect the print head without scratch by the material. When we go to the left, uh, the right bottom of the machine, we can see the power switch. This is the general power switch of the machine that when we power on, go to this side, is power on, and push down is for power off. And this is the general power port for the machine. And inside here is the fuse. So when you power on the machine, and you got no power for the machine, so maybe the fuse is broken, just fired, short. And normally it's no problem, because we test before delivery. And then we go here, this is the USB transit board, it's transit port. This side connect with the main board, and another side, this cable is for connect with the computer. And the bottom here is the label, the label for the machine. Then we can see the manufacturer name, the Focus Digital, and the model name, the Alpha Jet, and the, the voltage for the machine is 220. So um, please check the label or, or confirm with the Focus Support team to be sure that you put the correct, the right power to your machine. Must double check the machine used the 220 voltage or 110 voltage. Otherwise, we'll be shot. We get the machine problem.